I can guess that you are watching this video because you want to pass a key test on the 27th of January this year. Am I right? <laughs> if you really want, then continue watching because in this video I want to share with you my tasks that I had on my own key test that I passed in August last year. So I really hope that this video will help you to prepare yourself better for this exam. Hey everyone, welcome to uh, back to my channel. My name is Oli and on this channel I'm talking about traveling, learning languages and life in Finland. And welcome to the third part of my Uki series. Uh, actually, I wanted to film another video today, but I noticed that lately you are watching my Uki videos <laughs> more than any others. So I realized that I can guess the reason and the reason is that on the 27th of January will be another Uki test Kaskitaso and that's why I'm, I'm filming this video now. I really want to help you to get ready for this exam. I want to share with you what tasks I had um, on my own Uki test. I passed my Uki test in August last year and fortunately I wrote down <laughs> All the tasks that I remember. I actually wanted to uh, film this type of videos about Uki test. Uh, I had this idea even back then so I wrote down all the tasks that I had on my test and I really want to help you and to share uh, these tasks with you. I hope that it will help you to get yourself ready for this exam better. And the first thing that I want to tell you about this exam is actually a very important thing and I talked about it in my previous video about wiki test but I'm ready to repeat it because it's very important it's very very extremely okay extremely important not to be late for this exam <laughs> because if you are late for this exam that you will not be allowed to pass it and the second important thing and it is because of pandemic, it's necessary to have masks and it's necessary to use masks during the exam. It's like a mandatory requirement, so honestly I don't know if the center where you're going to pass your exam can give you masks if you just forgot about them. I don't know, but it's better to take them with you anyway. And actually it's good to remember that this exam is pretty long and on intermediate level it lasts um, about four of five hours and it's better if you have some extra mask then you can change them during the exam so so before the exam you will be asked to put your headphones your phone and your smartwatch um, in a special pocket and you just will leave uh, them with a special person <laughs> you will be not allowed to use these things during your exam and if some person from this um, educational center that it, it, where you uh, are passing your exam um, notice that you use these things that you may be just disqualified and you will not be allowed to continue passing this test. Another tip that I can give about the exam is always choose some answer even if you're not sure that it's right it's better to choose something than to choose nothing because there is no penalty for incorrect answers but uh, if you choose something that you may just you may be lucky and you may guess the right answer <laughs> uh, so yeah always choose some answer even if you're not sure that it's right and even if you don't understand the task at all <laughs> uh, so yeah choose something it's it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong just choose some answer there are four parts of this exam and it's speaking listening the understanding of the text or in fact it's reading and also it's writing so i want to briefly tell you about each part of this exam and also give you the examples of the tasks that i had on my exam so the first part is reading comprehension and it lasts 60 minutes and it consists of six tasks. 
In the reading comprehension part, you will read six different texts and you'll have to answer the questions uh, below them. There can be different types of questions. It can be an open question uh, where you should write the answer or it can be true or false question or it may be a question where you have to choose one answer from the three or four variants. My tip concerning this part is uh, to actually control the amount of time that you spend on each text and on each part uh, of this reading comprehension part. Because actually, the simple math, if you have 60 minutes and you have 6 texts, you have to spend not more than 10 minutes on each text with all the questions and all the tasks below this text. So it's very useful to remember about time and if you don't um, understand something if you can't understand what is necessary to do in this particular question if you don't understand the question so my advice is to go to another question or to another text and try to do as much as you can and after you completed all uh, that you know how to do then you can return to the questions that you don't know how to how to solve and try to guess maybe <laughs> um, the right answer so yeah it's it's very important in this part to control the amount of time that you spend on each task it's so number two part and it's a listening part it lasts 40 minutes and it consists of seven questions and in the listening comprehension part you will hear different recordings and it can be like announcements conversations interviews advertisements anything and you will have to answer the questions and at the intermediate level you will hear the each recording twice each text is divided on parts uh, you'll have 20 seconds in the beginning just to get acquainted with the task and with the text the first time you will hear the whole text and then the second time you will hear each part of the text with um, 20 seconds breaks 20 seconds pauses between them the third part and the most terrible part <laughs> in my opinion for all the foreigners it's speaking because the difficulty in speaking part is actually that you need to react very fast uh, on what it is said in the recording because the speaking part takes place in a language lab and actually this speaking part of the test consists of four parts and and actually this speaking test consists of also different um, type of tasks for example you need to take part in recorded conversation or you need to prepare some speech for some topic and talk about something for a minute and now i want to share with you some of my conversational situations that i had on my icky test actually i had my icky test in august last year and i had this idea this desire to share this uh, knowledge of mine <laughs> to the people I, I i had this idea that i want to film uh, someday this video about wiki test or series of videos about wiki test so i was smart enough and i wrote down all the tasks that i remember after passing this test because now after four months after passing this test of course i don't remember <laughs> anything but fortunately i have my tasks uh, written down and I want to share them with you. And finally, the fourth part of this test is writing. Usually you will have to compose like uh, messages to someone or a letter. And the third, the main, the biggest, I would say, and the biggest task of the whole exam is actually to write an essay. And I also want to share with you my tasks that I had on my uh, icky test. So here they are.
so yeah it was all that i wanted to say about the exam itself maybe i would add that the exam on casket also lasts approximately four or five hours so it's pretty long and i would recommend you to take something with you to eat like some fruits or something and also i would advise you to to take a bottle of water yeah and the last thing maybe yes the last thing that i want to talk about in this part uh, of this series is actually that you should be focused you should be calm honestly i don't know if there are some places where you can eat in this uh, educational centers that you will be passing this test. I I didn't use this it, this place like uh, eating place. Even if it was in my center, I passed my test at uh, Helsinki Aikos office stuff. And I don't know if they have something, some room or where you can eat. So actually, I didn't want to eat at all. <laughs> I didn't want to eat. I didn't want to drink. I just wanted to pass this test and uh, I don't know, maybe maybe you're just like the same approach and the same attitude to this or maybe you're a different person and in this, in such a stress situation you just uh, need something just like chocolate or water or some fruits. So it's up to you to decide, just know that this exam is pretty long so you should be ready both mentally and physically. <laughs> that it will take a lot of time and it will be very stressful but you can handle it i'm sure about it uh, if you are preparing for the icky test i really want to wish you good luck don't be afraid of anything be calm be focused and in the next video i will talk a little about the result of the test what does it mean how long do you need to wait to get this icky test certificate I hope this video was useful for you. I really wish you good luck on your exam if you're going to pass it. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, if you find it useful, please support me and my channel by subscribing and pushing the like button because every like and every subscription helps this channel tremendously. And also, uh, if you if you have some person that may need uh, this information about Uki test, if you know someone for whom this video can be helpful, please send this video to this person. I really want to help as many people as possible. So I really wish you good luck. Uh, I wish you a good day, good evening, or whatever time of the day is in your country where you live in. <laughs> so thank you very much for watching and see you in the next videos.